Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to create this grid dot in the app IBS Painter. So I am going to open uh, HD Canvas in my IBS Painter app and I am going to use the brush edge dot. You can use either grid dot or edge dot brush. Edge dot brush have the white border around uh, each box. So I am going to use this edge, uh, edge dot brush and here i'm going to draw a fruit apple and for that i'm going to using this circular ruler like this i just draw the circle and i'm going to fill with the same color so without changing the size you have to fill the color if you change the size uh, the art will not come out good so i'm going to add shadow for this now you can draw like this but instead if you make any mistake you can you may create extra box so to avoid that please switch on the alpha lock button and then fill the shade now you can see the uh, shades will not go out of this circle so I, I want the shade to be like a gradient one so i'm filling with the darker maroon like color at the border at the right side corner and gradually uh, reducing the darkness of the color and moving at the center and at the left corner I'm going to fill with the light, a lighter color. For lighter color I'm choosing yellow first. You may not see this color now but adding more lighter lighter you will see the difference. Here you can see I'm just adding some bright yellow. Don't create a box like shape instead you have to make this random strokes so that it looks uh, realistic and beautiful. So now I'm going to draw the leaf and stem for this apple like this. Make sure you switch off the alpha lock button in the layer option to draw further. So only if you want to fill the color, you can switch off, uh, switch on the alpha lock uh, button. Now I want to add some darkness. So I'm switching on the alpha lock and adding the darker color at the bottom and lighter color at the top. So here you can see I'm filling with the lighter color at the top and now move on, moving on to the darker colors at the bottom like this. Okay now if you want to erase uh, unwanted box simply go to eraser choose the grid box grid dot uh, eraser and make sure you use the same pixel size uh, which you used for the brush. Here I used 22 pixel. Uh, for the brush so I am going to use the 22 pixel size for the eraser as well like this you can erase simply without any um, collision between, between the box or anything like that so now I am going to fill the background with the same uh, with the blue color and I am going to do this on the same layer so make sure you didn't uh, interrupt with the uh, apple shape so it will get messy after if you interrupt with that so i want to add some shadow to this so i'm choosing some darker blue color and adding the darker shade like this below the apple at the bottom area of the apple don't make a edgy shadow so we want uh, again we want something gradient realistic so here you can see i'm just making the random stroke uh, moving out of that darkness so here you can see i'm choosing the lighter color as i come out of that darker area and i'm also making the random stroke so you, you can see some darker colors here and there and uh, in the uh, when we come out of the darkness and you can also see some lighter color nearer the darker area so that it looks mixed and gradient so now i'm saying the, saving the uh, image and here is the final look i hope you like this tutorial if you like please subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching